Hey guys, this is Emulus, and today we're gonna take a look at Glitch Pitch, another great plugin from Vengeance Sound. Glitch Pitch is a solid plugin for creating textures, lo-fi and filter modulations, as well as rhythmic glitches that are perfect for your mix. We're gonna use these concepts on vocals, effects, bass lines, synths, and the full mix. Let's take a look. All right, so I'm gonna be using Ableton Live 9 for this video. If you're using a different host or doll, you just need to find where your plugin folder is. And if you're using a PC as opposed to Mac, you won't be able to use audio units. You're going to have to use VSTs. Now I'm going to go ahead and load up an instance of Glitch Pitch onto our synth track. Now in order to trigger Glitch Pitch, I'm going to have to create a MIDI track. So let's go ahead and create one. I'm going to route its MIDI out to the synth track to trigger Glitch Pitch. So I've record enable. You can see I'm arming the plugin. Now Glitch Pitch is a 32 and 64 bit plugin. And if you look down here on this beautiful interface, you can see these macro and master controls here at the bottom, where you'll find a low pass and high pass filter, pitch detune, buffer length, pan drift, volume, and a lo fi sample rate modulator. At the bottom, we can have a blend of dry wet signal to the original. And we have two different blending modes, A and B. Also, we can sync to start or free start. At the top here, we have an edit window that allows us to edit with four different endpoint envelopes, meaning you can add and subtract points. And we also have an internal sequencer that can trigger the plugin. Up here, we can choose our buffer size. We can fade in two different glitch modes. We can choose our advanced mode interval choose the gate length and reverse. So let's go ahead and test out some of these macro controls on a synth track. Now I've used a song kit from Vengeance Sounds Total Dance Sounds Volume 2. I went ahead and used the MIDI and programmed my own synths and drums. So let's uh, test some of these macro controls out. So you can see just with the macro controls what kind of interesting sounds we could do. And that was with a sync start, so it's going to find the next possible beat to latch onto. For the rest of the video, I'm going to show you a couple different versions. So we're going to use vocals, effects, bass lines, synths, and some presets on the overall mix.
We could also use it on a group of synths. Now let's use Glitch Bitch on a full mix, and this time I'm going to use the internal sequencer to trigger the plugin. So you can see what kind of interesting rhythms we can get out of this. We can also change the overall length, buffer size, and offset of the sequencer. And another thing I want to point out is that each of these envelopes can be turned on and off with inside the edit window. Each of the envelopes can also be synced, flipped or inverted, looped, and we can change the overall buffer size or note value of each envelope. And they are completely independent from one another. Another cool feature is that Glitch Bitch's parameters are all MIDI programmable. So if I go down to Ableton's plugin window, click configure and select any of these parameters, or even its microparameters, they'll show up in this dialog box. So I can really do some extensive editing inside of Glitch Bitch. Now what I'm going to do is automate the overall mix, and I'm going to load up a preset that I've made. And over a course of eight bars, I'm going to have the low pass filter and sample rate adjust all the way up as we're going to blend the mix down. Now, for this example, I'm going to route my vocal tracks to the master and bypass them from the plugin. And let's check this out. A new morning, a new day's begun, so you are on the street to grab the sun that you feel like the summer has just begun, so you got it clear from now. And you to... So you can see we can even use Glitch Bitch for some interesting mixes. Glitch Bitch comes with 140 presets that you can easily rename or save, and you can create your own folders like I have. And we have a lot of different options that we can use. I mean, we can even edit, um, you know, the overall parameters and use Glitch Bitch as a low pass or high pass filter, or even just a sample rate modulator. Um, you can use it to pan. So there's a lot of different ways we could use this plugin. This is yet another great plugin from Vengeance Sound and Kyle Worth Audio. So go ahead and go over to vengeancesound.com and check it out.